It was starting out as a very bad Monday for Corey Black. It was a thunk. Yeah, it was a pretty big thunk. Corey had hit a large pothole on his way into work as he drove under the Independence Avenue Bridge. $165. That was damage to his tire. He reported the problem to the city, hoping it would pay for repair. But the city told him they weren't liable for the claim. According to the city, pothole damage claims will only be paid if the city was aware of the pothole prior to a claim being made. But here's the thing. Corey says a claim had been made for a pothole under that same bridge a week prior to his accident. He said that's what he found when he looked on 311 reporting site for potholes. He even took a screenshot, confident the city would pay. When it didn't, Corey went back on that 311 site and that pothole claim was gone. It was just gone off the map. And his claim to the city was marked as closed. That's when Corey called Fox 4 problem solvers. I feel like they're in the wrong. And that he should be reimbursed for damages. Problem solvers called the city, which told us it also couldn't figure out why that original 311 claim had disappeared from its screen. But it is looking into the matter. The city also said there was some confusion over the exact location of Corey's claim as well as the previous claim under that same bridge. It has reopened Corey's claim. Since January 1st of this year, the city has paid claims on 67 potholes. That's only about 10 percent of the claims submitted. We'll let you know what happens in Corey's case. Linda Wager, Fox 4 Problem Solver.